In our Southern Union State Community College Kitchen, Chef Anthony is joining us from Ricky's Tacos in Aridan down there in Pike County. We're making some delicious food. It's yes, one of your most popular dishes. Remind us what we're making. Uh, so we're making the Mexican Murache, uh, which translates to sandal, uh, in case you wanted to know. Uh, but, you know, as prior, we cooked up our meat now. And that looks yummy. It yes, smells so good. I wish you could smell it there at home. It smells so good in here. We have your precious mom, huh? Isabella, over here. What's she making? Uh, so right now she's making the warache. So you take the dough that we made and you make it into about five to six inch logs. And then you'll gently press it down with your hand and then create a little crater where you'll, where you'll put the bean paste that uh, we yeah, all... worked so hard on in that last segment, right? <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, <laughs> definitely a good mm -hmm. um, arm workout. And so then you'll, you'll put some of the bean paste in the middle and then pinch the edges closed and then you'll just uh, start shaping it again, and making sure that the bean paste does not go anywhere. And then you'll just press, you'll put the log on a, on a plastic uh, a wrapping and then you'll center it and then you're just gonna fold this down and then all you do is yeah, just push, press down. Push down? Oh, yes, I ma'am. to do it. Yes, ma'am. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Yes, I mean, so we'll just take it out and then we're just going to put it right here on the skillet and just uh, let it cook on each side for about one to two minutes. That looks so nice. Yes, ma'am. And uh, while she's going to put that and let it cook, uh, we're going to go right over here. And so what we have right here is some pig fat and we're just going to add uh, just a, a couple onions. Just to... That's that same pig fat mm -hmm. that you yes, used earlier. Yes, ma'am. And. Uh, I remember what you call it, liquid gold. <laughs> yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> liquid gold, there yes, you go. <laughs> and so we're going to take, um, so those beans that we had were already pre-seasoned, but uh, we're just going to show how you season them. You're just going to take this bean paste that came out of the, um, the meal, and we're just going to add it into here. And then, Love that sizzle. Yes, ma'am. And then at our restaurants, we'll, we'll make about 20 pounds of this, and then we'll just, it'll, it'll, the whole restaurant will just smell so good. 20 pounds. Yes, ma'am. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bean paste. Yes, ma'am. And we make it uh, daily. I'll just leave it here and just, uh, yeah, and we'll just uh, leave it here until it starts uh, cooking up and so it uh, turns very, very dry. Yes, ma'am. And then, and then we, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, so after our tomatillos have boiled. See those in there, they look nice. Uh, we're gonna take them and, ma, vas a hacer la salsa? And then, so my mom's gonna show the traditional way of how we make our salsa, but you could also put it in a blender. Uh, you, could just, you would put the garlic and then uh, some, tom some of the tomatillos first and then fully blend it and then add the jalapeno and cilantro and then just blend it so it's a little chunky. Mom likes the traditional way? Yes ma'am, so this is the traditional way. <laughs> it's all about the wrist, um, but you know, you have some salt in there first with a piece of garlic that you're just gonna fully and thoroughly smash and grind. And then you'll add uh, the tomatillos and the jalapenos into it. And you gotta be careful because they'll, they'll, they'll bust really easily. Uh, and so you'll just, um, yep, don't you press it. It's all in the wrist. Yes, ma'am, it's all in the wrist. Mom has that perfect touch, doesn't she? Yes, ma'am. And this is the, the sauce that you serve there mm -hmm. in the restaurant. Yes, ma'am. And so we have a full-on salsa bar where we offer different varieties of salsas because each one is very unique to how it is. Because if you, if you just decide to fry this, it completely changes the flavor. And so every single one of the salsas that we have is very unique. So yes, if you like spicy, you have one for that. If you're yeah, more yes, on the mild so, side. Yes, ma'am. It just runs like that. And then we've uh, definitely swapped people over from um, chip salsa and so you know trying uh, <laughs> trying different things. Yes, ma'am. And you're so, opening up people's palates. Yes, ma'am. And it's something that I enjoy seeing at the restaurants when I'm there. It's just like you know them tasting it and you're like, oh wow, you know where's, where has this been all my life? Mm -hmm. and, they they never thought they'd like it. But mm -hmm. yes, ma'am. I'm sure yours is better than other places, oh, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you would say that. <laughs> so good but everything takes time y'all put so much time into your dishes and oh, I think that's yes, probably what makes them yes ma'am yeah so better. it's all time love yes. and then, uh, we're just gonna add some cilantro into here but yeah and so uh, me and my brother we've always been um, you know really you know into the Mexican zine because we we officially started when we were 13 and 15 years old and you know we did it all throughout high school you're 
the, the food truck. You're and, 18 now? Yes, ma'am. I'm 18, 18 now. now. And, and then, speaking of time, I don't know how you have time for all this. You have two restaurants. You uh, said you also have a donut shop. Yes, ma'am. A food You're truck. You're in school. Uh -huh. A food truck. Yes, ma'am. And, and a roofing business. Yes, ma'am. A construction <laughs> business well. that we do. So, yes, ma'am. At 18, I was not uh, not that accomplished, I will tell you that. Yes, ma'am. And so, <laughs> tell you, uh, I, you know, all of it was, you know, just um, not giving up. Uh, you know, once we made, you know, we made uh, $45 our first day and, you know, we just, I mean, it wasn't a lot, but you know, we just, you know. Something. Yes, man, it was something. Going. And it kept us going. And so, you know, just never try to be afraid of, you know, just starting, because, you know, at uh, one point, you know, it's gonna really, you know, just take off, just you, like how we did. You have great work ethic and you're yes, an inspiration. We can't wait to dish it up and dig in here in just uh, a few minutes. Yes, ma'am.